Have you ever considered that there are plenty of countries that don't want you to visit? No? Well, as tourists keep getting more ignorant, the amount of countries that hate tourists is on the rise. Why, you ask? Travel broadens the mind, right? It provides us with new experiences, sights, tastes, and perspectives, and it makes life so much more fun. But do we ever spare a thought to whether the country we want to travel to actually wants us there? Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest travel-related content. We want to ensure you have all the tools necessary to plan your adventures responsibly, and your support motivates us to create more insightful videos like this one. So, let's get started and explore these 10 countries you may want to think twice about visiting. Number 10, Afghanistan. The security situation in Afghanistan has deteriorated significantly since the Taliban retook control of the country in August 2021. The Taliban has imposed strict rules on the population, including restrictions on women's rights and freedom of expression. There have also been reports of extrajudicial killings, torture, and other human rights abuses. The U.S. government has warned U.S. citizens against traveling to Afghanistan and has issued a Level 4 travel advisory, the highest level of warning. The State Department has said that, the security situation in Afghanistan is extremely complex and fluid, and the risk of violence remains high. There are several reasons why Afghanistan is particularly dangerous for U.S. citizens. First, the Taliban has a history of targeting U.S. citizens and other foreigners. In the past, the Taliban has kidnapped and killed American citizens. Second, the U.S. government is no longer present in Afghanistan to provide consular assistance to U.S. citizens. This means that U.S. citizens who are in trouble in Afghanistan will have difficulty getting help from the U.S. government. Third, Afghanistan is a country with a weak infrastructure and limited resources. This means that it can be difficult to find food, water, and medical care in Afghanistan. Fourth, Afghanistan is a country with a high level of poverty. This means that crime is a serious problem in Afghanistan. Number 9, Haiti. Kidnapping and ransom are a significant concern in Haiti. Carjackings and armed robberies are also quite common, particularly in urban areas like Port-au-Prince. The country's weak law enforcement and widespread poverty contribute to these crimes. According to the Center for Analysis and Research on Human Rights CARDH, there were 1,114 kidnappings in Haiti in 2021, up from 719 in 2020. The majority of these kidnappings are motivated by ransom, and the victims are often Haitians themselves. Number 8, Mali. Terrorism is high in Mali, where armed groups are known to attack locations ranging from places of worship to nightclubs, Malian government offices, important infrastructure sites, or locations known to attract Westerners. Violent crimes including armed robbery and kidnapping are also common, particularly during local holidays or seasonal events, and are often facilitated by the use of roadblocks. Number 7, Mexico. Currently locked in a drug war, Mexico is one of two countries whose current travel advisory falls outside the Level 1 to 4 system. While the states of Yucatan and Campeche are relatively safe, in many other parts of Mexico, foreign tourists are frequent targets for crimes ranging from pickpocketing and muggings to kidnapping, carjacking, and homicide. Number 6, Myanmar. Myanmar's elected government was deposed by a military coup d'état in 2021, leaving the country, which was already engaged in the world's longest-running civil war, under military rule. Civil unrest and armed conflict are possible, landmines and other unexploded ordnance make some areas dangerous to traverse, and unlawful detentions have been reported. Myanmar also suffers from limited and or inadequate healthcare resources. Number 5, North Korea. Known for its secrecy and its third-generation dictator, Kim Jong-un, North Korea is considered an extremely risky destination for international travelers. The lives of people in North Korea are very tightly controlled and policed, and once a tourist enters the country, there is no guarantee they will be allowed to leave again. U.S. citizens are currently banned from traveling to North Korea. The U.S. government instituted the ban in 2017, after an American student named Otto Warmbier, who had been detained in North Korea and imprisoned for 17 months, was returned to the United States in a coma, passing one week later. The ban is currently renewed 12 months at a time, with the most recent renewal having taken place in August of 2022. Number 4, Russia. Since Russia invaded Ukraine in early 2022, 
visiting Russia has become more dangerous and logistically challenging for international travelers, and U.S. citizens in particular. Travel in and out of the country is extremely limited, U.S. credit cards no longer work in the country, and Russian law enforcement officials are known to target U.S. citizens and arbitrarily levy harsh punishments. The most highly publicized example of this is the case of Brittany Griner, a WNBA player who was apprehended in Russia with less than a gram of hashish oil, for which she had a U.S. prescription, but which is prohibited in Russia. Griner was sentenced to nine years in prison. Number 3, Somalia. Both civil unrest and terrorist activity are routine in Somalia. Illegal roadblocks, kidnapping, and murder are common, and schools and other facilities are often repurposed as cultural rehabilitation centers where people are unlawfully detained and may be physically abused. Terrorist attacks often include suicide bombers, car bombs, physical attacks, or mortar fire, and often target places with large crowds and frequent Western visitors, such as airports, seaports, hotels, or shopping centers. Offshore, piracy is also a concern, particularly in international waters, with Somali pirates hijacking ships and either robbing the ships or holding the crew and passengers hostage in exchange for ransom. Number 2, South Sudan. Armed conflict is ongoing in South Sudan. Violent crimes occur frequently, including carjackings, shootings, robberies, kidnappings, and cattle raids. Foreign nationals have experienced armed robberies, sexual assault, and rape. Journalistic reporting is illegal unless one is properly licensed, and even journalists with their paperwork in order may be harassed or killed. Number 1, Venezuela. Ruled by a dictatorial regime, Venezuela is currently experiencing frequent shortages of food, gasoline, electricity, water, and medical supplies. Violent crimes are common, including homicide, armed robbery, kidnapping, and carjacking. Finally, the government is known to violate human rights with acts including unlawful detention, torture, and extrajudicial killings. We've reached the end of our video on 10 countries you may want to reconsider visiting. Remember, the purpose of this video was not to discourage exploration, but rather to provide you with important information to make informed travel decisions. Each country has its unique challenges and circumstances that may impact your safety, comfort, or overall experience. Now it's your turn, let us know in the comments below if you've ever visited any of these countries or if you have any additional insights to share. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel-related content that will inspire and inform your future adventures. Safe travels, and we'll see you in the next video.